In BC, avalanches contribute to a significant number of snowmobiling injuries every year. Luciano Nisi writes extensively on backcountry survival. He says the risk of encountering or causing an avalanche is real. Especially slab avalanches when you're crossing a line along a track line on certain slopes without the training and avalanche training, you're once again putting yourself at high risk being in an avalanche or creating one. Um, and without avalanche training to get out of that, you have a risk of perishing and dying on the mountain. Five years ago, five of six Canadian snowmobile deaths due to avalanches happened in BC. Two years before that, 19 snowmobilers died in this province when they were buried in avalanches. John Copsey, News 1130. Part of the appeal of snowmobiling is the power and freedom of driving a powerful machine through the beauty of BC's backcountry. Luciano Nisi writes extensively on backcountry survival. He says if you choose to veer off the designated recreational snowmobile trails, you're running a risk. If you have a breakdown, if anything happens where there's an injury or something else, and you're stuck there, you know, cell coverage and other way of uh, notifying someone, the situation would become grave very quickly. Hypothermia and other things can happen and frostbite. So being prepared on a snow machine is no different than hiking or any other outdoor winter activity. Snowmobile-related injuries are the most common sustained in winter sports and recreation activities. Over a 12-year period, just over over a thousand people died in snowmobile crashes in Canada. Over 60% of those were under the age of 30. John Copsey, News 1130. Digging a test pit involves a bit of time to dig a large enough hole to allow you to examine the pit wall for layers of snow that have melted and frozen, sandwiched between powdery layers. Backcountry safety expert Luciano Nisi says this ounce of prevention could prevent getting caught in a slab avalanche where that powdery snow slides off the frozen crusty layers. Stop, dismount dig a snow pit at some point and that's the thing that I bet you most of them don't do because they're out there they're cruising these feed machines are fast stopping and, and doing that that's going to take a lot of self-control. Nisi says carrying shovels and beacons as Friday's group did does nothing to prevent getting caught in an avalanche in the first place. John Copsey News 1130. Backcountry safety expert Luciano Nisi says one should watch for recent trends where snow has fallen followed by warming periods that slightly melt the powder. And then that snow freezes a little bit and then the fresh snow goes on top. So now what happens is that new snow does not adhere to the other layer quite as much because there's almost like a sort of a thin crusted layer on top. So that snow now that gets on top piles on top of it. He says snowmobilers, as covered in their training, should take the time to dig a test snow pit, which could potentially reveal layers of ice and snow that point to the risk of a slab avalanche. John Copsey, News 1130.